One after another, Forex prop firms are banning US traders. First, FTMO did it, and now over a dozen different prop firms have followed suit by banning US traders. So what's really going on here, and why is all of this happening? And most importantly, what can US traders do to continue trading with prop firms? There's really only three solutions, and I break them down in this video. So first things first, let's get behind this. What is actually going on here? And we saw it first with FTMO a couple months back, restricting the onboarding of new US customers. And now we can see a lot of the major prop firms in the industry have continued to ban US traders, or at least not allow any new US traders to sign up to their platforms. Some of them are allowing existing traders that have open accounts or open challenges to continue, but we see this more and more every single day, it seems like new prop firms are banning US traders. So you may be wondering what is actually going on. I think this guy's tweet said it perfectly, he said, can anyone tell me why prop firms are restricting US clients? Why is it such a big deal? Somebody enlighten me. The USA is gay for this. And I think, and I think probably a lot of US customers agree with this. That why does the US have to be so strict with the money-making opportunities that are available to US citizens? So why is this actually happening? And the reason all of this is happening has to do with MetaQuotes. MetaQuotes is a Russian company that created the MetaTrader 4 and MetaTrader 5 trading platforms that are most commonly used in the Forex trading industry, as we know. And there's a couple rumors of why MetaQuotes is really starting to crack down. One rumor that I've heard is that MetaQuotes is trying to go public and they need to clean up some of this mess. Uh, so they're banning U.S. customers since it's not really technically allowed for U.S. traders to trade what are known as CFDs. More on that in a second. And the second rumor, and I think this is probably the more likely one, is that MetaQuotes is getting a lot of pressure from U.S. regulators for essentially onboarding U.S. customers onto trading CFDs, which happens to be illegal for U.S. traders. So essentially the underlying problem here is that uh, it seems to be, at least from my research, the the real big problem here is, is that uh, MetaQuotes is essentially onboarding U.S. traders to trade CFDs. Now, what are CFDs? CFDs are contract for differences, and essentially that's what you're trading when you're trading Forex. It allows you to basically speculate on the price of an asset without actually having to own the underlying asset. And you're generally allowed to trade with a large amount of leverage, as we know in Forex. And this is something that is not allowed inside of the US for US traders. And they say that they're doing this to help protect US traders from scams and from super high risk, which may be the case. So where do the prop firms come into all of this? So the prop firms come into this because prop firms are onboarding loads of US customers onto their platforms and loading them into MetaTrader 4 or into MetaTrader 5. And so what prop firms are dealing with is they are realizing that they don't stop onboarding U.S. customers, then MetaQuotes may revoke their license. They license MetaTrader 4 and MetaTrader 5 to these prop firms and to these unregulated brokers. And these prop firms realize that, hey, if we don't stop onboarding U.S. customers, then we could get our license removed, not just for U.S. customers, but for international customers as well. And so prop firms are basically saying that, hey, this is too risky. So we're just going to do away with U.S. traders for time being and not onboard them onto the MetaQuotes platforms anymore. And some of these prop firms are allowing U.S. customers to continue, but on different platforms like DX Trade. OK, so all that being said, all of this regulation, it, it's a major speed bump. It's a pain in the butt. But ultimately, all of this regulation is going to be good for this industry. As we know, the prop firm industry had a lot of bad actors. There was a lot of shadiness happening inside the prop firm industry. And so ultimately, this is going to be really good in the long term, although it's going to be kind of painful for the next couple of weeks until the dust settles. OK, so with all of that being said, now hopefully you have a better idea of what's actually going on here. Now let's talk about what are the solutions if you're a U.S. trader that wants to continue trading with prop firms. So a few different options. Number one is to simply look for an offshore prop firm that is continuing to allow U.S. traders. You can come to this website, Prop Firm Match. You can type uh, click Forex 100K to step. And then you can go in here and you can click this United States button and you can see there's quite a few uh, prop firms that are still onboarding U.S. customers. So you can use one of these. Now, some of these prop firms may not be onboarding customers onto MetaTrader 4 and MetaTrader 5. 
They may only be onboarding clients into platforms like DX Trade, so you'll have to do your research on this. This allows you to find prop firms that may be available to you as a US trader. Now, obviously the downfall of dealing with offshore unregulated brokers and prop firms is the fact that they're really trying to work against you. They use um, virtual dealer plugins, which is basically trying to make you fail and they don't really have any consequences for doing shady things like this. So there are obviously still risks involved, but it, to me, it seems like prop firms are going to fight tooth and nail to be able to continue to have US traders on their platforms, even if it's only through the DX trade platform, because the US market, there's tons of demand here, there's tons of money, and prop firms would be foolish not to fight for that demand and the US market. We've seen the same thing happen with Forex brokers. There's a lot of Forex brokers that are international that still onboard US clients, even though they know that it's not technically legal, but they've been doing it for a long, long time. And so I see this probably still continuing to happen for uh, people inside the US being able to go to offshore, but maybe having a little bit more risk dealing with them. So that's the first option. The second option is actually to transition to the futures market. And for those of you guys that are not familiar with the futures market, the futures market is a centralized market that is actually a lot more regulated. It's completely legal inside of the United States and you don't deal with a lot of the phony business like virtual dealer plugins and executions delays and uh, crazy slippage and all this sort of stuff, uh, which is cool. And the cool thing about futures is that futures actually have prop firms just like how Forex has prop firms. Now the rules are a little bit different, but one of the cool things about futures prop firms is that a lot of the times they're actually cheaper and um, a lot of the times they can actually be even faster to pass and you don't deal with you know some of the shadiness that you would deal with uh, using some sort of offshore uh, prop firm in the Forex market. So you can see here, generally, a lot of the times they have like a monthly price. So you can see this for 50K challenge is only $49 per month. And essentially you have uh, to do about 6% profit target with no more than 4% drawdown. And generally all the futures prop firms that I've been looking into typically have just a one phase test instead of having to do two phases. So while the drawdown, you have to be a little bit stricter with it. It's not as easy, so to speak, as a Forex prop firm. This is also a really good option. And then once you actually pass their evaluation, you pay a $149 activation fee. The two big giants in this industry for futures is topstep.com and Apex. Um, they also have a similar situation, $50,000 account. Basically, you have to make 6% profit target and they have a trailing threshold of 5%, which is a little bit different. So you have to learn a little bit about how these drawdown rules do change, but this is also a really viable option. Uh, we're actually in the process of converting our algorithmic trading solution over to futures trading as well. So that way, US traders will have the option to either trade with Forex prop firms or with um, a highly regulated US futures prop firm as well. I think this is a really solid thing that I think is uh, going to sit well with a lot of US traders. It's gonna be a little bit of a transition phase, but I think it's a really, really solid long-term option that you're not gonna have to deal with any shadiness and uh, will be here for the long-term. So this is another really great option is moving over to the futures. And I'd say this is your second option. And then the third option is to simply wait a little bit. Wait for the dust to settle. We've seen like this past week really be like super chaotic. And I think what's happened is probably the worst of it is over at this point. I think for the next week or so, we're still gonna see uh, more prop firms continuously outlaw US traders, especially onto the MetaTrader platforms. Maybe they'll still allow you onto the DX Trades platform, which is, is something, but I, I think the worst is probably over. The big banning spree is probably over. And I would say just wait till the dust settles. We're probably gonna see the legit prop firms that are gonna be around, they're gonna stick up and they're going to be around for a long time. And then the guys that were the bad actors, they're gonna be weeded out and, and that'll be actually good for everyone as a whole. And hey, if you need help becoming a funded prop firm trader, then go on over to propfarming.com. We've helped over like 675 people become funded prop firm traders using our algorithms and our unique prop farming approach. So go on over to propfarming.com. We guarantee we can help you become a funded prop firm trader.